The Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security celebrated the World Food Day, which annually commemorates on the 16th of October, with a rally of celebration involving the Agricultural Research Council of Nigeria, social agricultural groups, as well as students of the Republic of Nigeria. But the theme for the day, which is Water is Life, Water is Food, Leave No One Behind. The rally, which took place in the capital city of Nigeria, was a success with smiles left on the faces of the individuals. Each year, the Food and Agriculture Organization comes up with a theme. The theme for this year, World Food Day, is Water is Life, Water is Food, Leave No One Behind. This slogan highlights core objective of the annual event and brings to mind the need to heighten public awareness and action to improve our food systems and alleviate hunger. It underscores the vital role of water in sustaining life on Earth and its fundamental connection to our food sources. Specifically, enhancing food production while preserving our natural resources like water has become critical to ensure sustainable food and nutrition security. However, it, it is empirically unequivocal that our planet's water resources are declining due to climatic change, urbanization, and rapid population growth. Such an increasing threat to regular water supply has adversely affected not only food production, but also agricultural livelihoods with developing countries in particular, bearing a disproportionate burden. The Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Senator Abubakar Kari, who was present, gave his speech by first acknowledging the presence of every individual. He mentioned it was a day to mark the anniversary of the founding of Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations in 1945. He stated that the essence is to strengthen the fight of national solidarity in the fight to end hunger, malnutrition, and poverty, as well the primary aim to escalate public awareness, promote increase of food production and availability for all. I am pleased to inform you that a clear roadmap has been drawn up by the Ministry in collaboration with the Federal Ministry of Water Resources to optimally harness all water resources available in producing areas including river basins, dams around irrigable, ir, 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 irrigable lands and all other wetlands for multiple cropping sites. This renewed synergy and cooperation between our two ministries has started yielding results as assessment and operational appraisal visits to the river basin development authorities has begun in earnest and will be deployed for the 2023-2024 dry season farming of the federal government in conjunction with states and local governments. This will bring with priority crops including wheat, rice, maize, and cassava with aggressive sustainable plan for upscaling and replicating some of other crops, livestock, fisheries across the Federation. In tandem with the renewed hope agenda of this administration and as contained in our roadmap of my inaugural media briefing on the 6th of October, the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security has resolved to reposition agriculture to take this prize of place in national development. He addressed the ongoing collaboration in creating better water resources as well as sustainability of live crops for a healthier consumption. I would like to use this opportunity to express our appreciation to the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, and other partners while also acknowledging the Nigeria Agricultural Foundation of Nigeria and all Farmers Association of Nigeria for their immense contributions towards the success of this year's World Food Day. We remain committed to continuous collaboration of strengthening the Nigeria's agricultural sector for enhanced food and nutrition security while contributing to the eradication of poverty, reduce eradication of poverty. He expressed his appreciation to the Food and Agriculture Organization, FOA, and all partners and acknowledged the presence of farmers for the success of 2023 World Food Day individuals who also showed up for the success of 2023 World Food Day. Individuals who also showed up appealed to the government and farmers to help in the reduction of chemicals in waters as it is unhealthy and can cause damages to our health. We need water. But that water can only be essential and healthy 
when we avoid chemicals. So we want to pass the message to farmers out there and to our government. Let's minimize or reduce the way we are applying a chemical in our soils. It don't help us to get a healthy water. It kill our system. That's the main reason why we are here. The water that we are taking supposed to be life and food, but it's no longer life and food. The water we are taking is poison to us. Reporting from Nigeria's state capital, Soibifar Jackridge, Top Accolade News.